Today's Gospel, Friday, July 14, is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 10, verses 16 to 23. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of people, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you. You will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Brother Wilfred Casumbal. Qualifications Meek as a lamb, cunning as a serpent, peaceful as a dove, discerning of men, self-assured to face the rich and powerful, humble to face the lowly, confident in the word, resolute in trials, courage in the face of adversity, fortitude during suffering, persevering when persecuted. These are Jesus' required qualifications for His disciples. Do you qualify? One might balk our fret about the seemingly high standards but the list becomes better. Faithful as Abraham, hopeful as Sarah, patient as Job, obedient as Mary and Joseph, loving as Jesus. Do you qualify now? Still not? How about sinful as man? Now we're all qualified. But the beauty of the truth is Jesus came for the sinners and not the righteous. The final qualification then is deeply loved by God. So you see, we all qualify to be God's disciples. That wasn't really so hard, was it? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, grant me the courage to deny myself, take up my cross daily, and follow you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.